Work problems. Yan, maraming trabaho to. Kaya, pag-aralan natin. Importante yan. Kasi, nagtatrabaho tayo. Okay, first example. A can do a job in 10 days. B can finish the same job in 15 days. C can do it in 8 days. If they work together, how many days will it take them to finish the work? So, of course, paanong gagawin mo? Si A kaya niya in 10, si B kaya niya in 15, si C kaya niya in 8, i-add mo lahat, 33 days. Does that make sense? Siyempre, hindi. Diba? Walang saysay ang ganyang solution. Hindi yun pwede. Bakit? E nagsama-sama na nga silang tatlo, lalo pa tumagal yung trabaho. Hindi ganun. So, paano pala? Ganito yung ginagawa ko. No? At ito pa yung unit nung job na to. Ang ginagawa ko ganito. Tina times ko muna. Yung 10 times 15 times 8. Tapos kukuha akong calculator. Ita times ko yan. Ang sagot, 1,200. Okay. So, ano yung 1,200? Yan yung amount nung job. O, kuwari, uh, nung ano, problems. Oh, uh, problems. Board exam problems. 1,200 problems. Si A, kaya niyang gawin yung 1,2 in 10 days. So, so ano ang rate ni A? Rate ni A is nakakapag-solve siya ng 120 problems per day. So, ganito yung ginagawa ko. Tina-times ko. O, sinidivide ko lahat dun sa rate, sa days. O, yung rate naman ni B, 80 problems per day. Yung rate naman ni C, 8 days, 150 yung nasosolve niyang problems per day. So, ganito ko iniisip yung mga gantong rate sa work. Okay, tatimes mo muna yung days. Yan yung technique ko. Tapos, makakuha ka ng mga rates na ganito. Na maganda yung numbers. Okay? Ngayon, kung pinagsama-sama mo sila, yung speed nila, ilan yung nagagawa nila kada araw? No? Ilan? Siyempre, 120 plus 80 yung nagawa ni B sa isang araw plus 150 yung nagawa ni C sa isang araw. So, yung rates na yan, pag inad mo lahat, sa isang araw, nakakagawa sila, sama-sama sila, 350 problems per day. E, 1,200 yung problems. ba Divide mo lang yan ng 350 problems per day. Malalaman mo na kung kailan nila uh, matatapos lahat ng problema nila ng sama-sama. And you will get 3 point 43 days. Okay? Ito yung isa sa method ko kung paano ako nagsosolve ng work problems. So, yun yung, yun yung tekniko, no? Tinatimes ko muna. Yun yung days. Tapos, iisipin ko ano yung job, anong klaseng trabaho to. So, Siyempre, nagre-review tayo. Nagsosolve sila ng, ano, ng problems, ng board exam problems para maging engineer din sila. di ba? Parang tayo, solve tayo ng solve. Okay? So, sana ma-achieve nyo yung rate ni CEO, 150 problems per day. Example number 2. A swimming pool it's, is filled through its inlet pipe and then emptied through its outlet pipe in a total of 8 hours. Okay? So, pinuno siya ng inlet pipe. So, may rate yung inlet pipe. Pinuno siya. So, yung isang pool, pinuno mo through the inlet pipe. Ano yung time nun? Siyempre, yung time, okay? Time to, to pool is equal to one uh, pool, one swimming pool over yung rate nung inlet. Tapos, meron kang outlet pipe. Yung time para ma-empty, equal yan doon sa isang pool. Divided by yung rate ng flow ng outlet mo. The first sentence tells us that the time to, to completely uh, fill up the pool plus the time to empty the pool must be equal to 
8 hours. Or, 1 over r sub i plus 1 over r sub o is equal to 8. Ito yung una nating equation. Yan ay base sa first sentence. The second sentence states na pag pinagsabay mo daw sila, yung inlet simultaneously with the outlet, the pool is filled in 7.5 hours. So, ibig sabihin, yung rate ng inlet minus yung rate ng outlet, pag tinimes mo ng 7.5, saka pa lang mapupuno yung isang pool. So, we have now two equations present in our solution. Ilan ang unknowns? Dalawa, RI at saka RO. Ano ang hinahanap? Ang hinahanap is how long will it take to fill the pool with the outlet close? Outlet close. How long will it take to fill? Outlet is close. So saan yun? Ito yun. So pag nakuha mo yung rate ng input ng inlet pipe natin, uh, i-inverse mo lang siya. Yun na yung time to fill up the pool. We have Ri is equal to 1 over 7.5 plus R sub O. Or this is also equal to 1 plus 7.5 R sub O over 7.5. Which means na pag sinagpsitute mo dito sa una nating equation, magiging 7.5 over 1 plus 7.5 R sub O plus 1 over R sub O equals 8, which yields R sub O is equal to 0 0.2. And R sub I should be equal to 0 0.333. And the time to fill up the pool will be the inverse of 0 0.333. That's one third. So we have 3 hours. So mapupuno siya in 3 hours. So again, it's it's just a matter of translating yung words into algebraic expressions at sana wag tayong malito yung mga rate. Example number 3 is also a work problem and this is related sa construction since mga CE tayo, nagtatrabaho yung mga tao, bagay na bagay itong problem na to. So we have 30 men and they can finish the job in 60 days. Okay, so, ibig sabihin, yung amount of work is equal to 30 men times 60 days or 1,800 men days. Yan yung total amount of work na kailangan nilang tapusin. Yan yung units ng trabaho natin, man days, 1,800 man days. At the start of the 16th day, 5 men were laid off. From day 1 to 15, yung amount of work finished is equal to 30 men times 15 days. So this is equal to 450 man days. So at the start of the 16th day, start of the 16th day, What's left doon sa trabaho is 1,350 man days na lang. Ito yung remaining work. Tapos, ang nangyari daw, yung number of men nabawasan ng lima after nyan. Okay, so yung ilan na lang sila? 25 men na lang sila. And they continued to work for uh, ilang days until the 45th day. They continued to work until the 45th day. Ibig sabihin, from day 16 to day 45, that is 30 days. Ang nagawa nilang amount of work is, na times mo lang, 750 man days. Again, Yung natitirang 1,3, bawasan mo ng 750. So, 1,350 minus 750 and you will get 600 man days left.
So, ito yung remaining after the 45th day. And then, after daw nyan, nagdagdag ako ng 10 tao. So, ilan na yung tao ko? From 25 naging 35 men. Times X days is equal to 600 man days. Yan yung natitirang work. So, big sabihin, yung X is equal to 600 over 35 or 17.14 days. So, ilang araw in total nagtrabaho yung mga tao ko? Trabaho sila for a total of yung unang 15 days, yung pagsumunod na 30 days, and then they continued working for 17.4 para matapos yung 600. So, that's 15 plus 30 plus 17.14 is equal to 62.14 days. And ang originally, 60 days lang yun. Okay? Originally, 60 days lang, di ba? 60 days. Ibig sabihin, lumampas sila ng ilan? Lumampas sila ng 2.14 days. So, this is the answer. They, they extended the work or they were delayed by 2.14 days. So, ganun, no? Sa work problem with regards to construction. Gumagamit tayo ng unit na man hours, man days. Okay? Gumagamit tayo ng ganun. So, that's it for the work. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. So, and... Ganito na lang. Like me video kung ayos. Pag hindi, huwag mo i-dislike. Leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.